As a physician, you're probably aware of the explosion of peer-reviewed articles on telomeres and telomerase. At last count, there were more than 20,000. The study of telomeres has resulted in the 2009 Nobel Prize and a myriad of research projects, but perhaps most important for physicians in an era of personalized medicine, a valuable emerging clinical tool. Along with other biomarkers, today, telomere testing is being used to help detect disease, stratify risk, determine prognosis, and tailor treatments for a multitude of disease states. Before we discuss these clinical advantages, let's take just a minute to review telomere biology. The ends of linear chromosomes are capped by telomeres, repeating sections of non-coding DNA that protect the important areas from degradation. Telomeres shorten after each chromosome replication. When the telomeres become critically short, this triggers a process of replicative senescence, whereby further cellular division is normally halted. This prevents the risk of genetic mutations from chromosomal fusions due to uncapped chromosomes. In special cells, such as stem cells, germ cells, and cancer cells, an enzyme called telomerase is highly active. Telomerase works along with a protein complex called shelterins to lengthen the telomeres. Depending on cell type, the Hayflick limit establishes the absolute number of cellular divisions in the range of 50 to 70 times. This governs the upper end of potential cell longevity. With aging, the progressive loss of telomeres continues over the years. Just to put the numbers in perspective, a fetus in utero may have telomeres with around 15,000 to 20,000 base pairs, or 15 to 20 kilobases. By birth, this number may be reduced to 10 to 15 kilobases. Over the span of a lifetime, telomeres shorten heterogeneously at rates that vary from 100 to several hundred base pairs per year. Cells begin to enter the short zone once they move below three kilobases. From a clinical viewpoint, two pieces of data are important in managing a patient's health. These are one, the percentage of critically short telomeres, and two, the rate of telomere attrition. By measuring more than 100,000 telomeres from a simple blood sample, the Telomere Analysis Technology Report, or TAT, from LifeLength, is able to precisely, accurately, and reliably evaluate the full distribution of telomeres in a patient sample. This includes assessing critically short telomeres by providing the median as opposed to the mean telomere length. Because the coefficient of variation is below 5%, this allows for precision in multiple measurements. Leading clinicians and researchers appreciate the value of this precision. Aging and the relationship with reversibility is within the percentage of small telomeres that's there. Now if you just look at all of the telomeres and say what's the average length, if you have a curve that's broad, it's very different than if you have a curve that's narrow in terms of your own range of sizes of, of telomeres. So given that, knowing what the small telomeres are, which is really where the issue is, that's what you need. And that's what's different than what you find in a lot of telomere testing, because if you're just getting an average and you're trying to shift the average versus trying to shift or work with or understand where the true meaning is, which is with the short telomeres, that's what you need. The vast body of telomere research has provided strong evidence associating short telomeres with a variety of disease states and lifestyle risk factors. Critically short telomeres contribute to cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer, osteoarthritis and osteoporosis, pulmonary fibrosis, major depressive disorders, and CNS diseases. Telomere length is increasingly being recognized as an independent variable in predicting disease. For example, a study of more than 43,000 subjects reported in the British Medical Journal concluded that telomere length is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. A large meta-analysis showed significant association between shortened telomere length and type 2 diabetes. Other studies are showing that the finding of short telomeres may be associated with the aggressiveness of certain cancers. 
Accelerated telomere attrition is also caused by lifestyle behaviors, such as smoking and obesity, excessive alcohol consumption, unmanaged stress, sedentary habits, and poor diet. Research is also showing that positive health practices can impact the rate of telomere shortening. Among these positive activities are a Mediterranean diet, certain vitamins and supplements, exercise, mindfulness, and meditation. Increasingly, telomere health is becoming an important component of personalized medicine. Perhaps more important, telomeres provide additional insight into risk stratification. We like to measure lipid profiles. And we can measure lipid profiles and say, you know what, that's a risk factor for coronary artery disease. That's a risk factor for uh, cerebral vascular disease. Doesn't mean you have it. But now we have objective criteria. And so it helps the patient because they know now we have a baseline measurement. There are some major studies correlating telomere length, telomere degradation with not only the incidence of cancer, but cancer mortality. So if there's no other reason, uh, certainly measuring telomere length now and as the patient ages, I think is extremely important because it may light a fire under them to say, wow, I don't like what's happening with my telomere length and it's time to change my life. But perhaps the greatest value is in obtaining serial measurements or incorporating telomere testing as part of an annual health status assessment. It's like a report card, letting both the physician and the patient know how well the total intervention and the program is proceeding. Telomere testing is interesting because it gives us a global vital sign to see how our patients are doing. For, for the first time, we're able to, with a single marker, be able to say, where are you at in that continuum from illness to wellness or from wellness to illness? It can be a great motivating tool for people to get on board and make the behavior changes they know they need. Today, telomere testing from life length is rapidly making its way into the clinical practice of medicine, where it's taking its place as an important tool, supporting personalized medicine in early detection, risk stratification, treatment algorithms, and health behavior change.